Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video. I just wanted to make one more before the release of Classic. We got one more week, so I'm really excited about that to finally get leveling and tanking some dungeons again on my Paladin. So uh, hopefully everything will work out. And uh, I just wanted to go over a couple things real quick in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, first up, I want to give a shout out to Rain Iron Wolf. He's another Protection Paladin player who does videos and live streams so definitely check out his channel and give him a sub and uh, he has a video talking about the uh, crowd pummeler uh, in my last video I talked about how protection paladins could probably use the crowd pummeler for secondary threat and he already has a video testing this out so that's really awesome and uh, I enjoyed watching that so uh, give him a like or a sub and check out his content for sure so I uh, just wanted to mention that Next up is some footage from when I was on the Classic WoW stress test. I was testing out crit reactive procs. I know Esfend also has a video on this where he was practicing it on the uh, beta. And I was getting the same results he was. It seems like it is still in the game. But the uh, timing for it is pretty precise. You're going to want a swing timer. And if you do the sit right when the target is attacking you, you can manipulate a crit most of the time. And I, I was getting way more redoubt uptime using this than uh, fighting mobs without using this. So it, it does seem like it, it's worth it to keep your redoubt up. And I've heard of other prop paladins talking about using this method. But I, I didn't really want to talk about it until I got a chance to test it myself. So having redoubt up more often is going to give you more block chance and more threat. Um, you do have to be crit to do this though so yeah, it seems like it, it could be situational but it's still nice to know that this is in the game and I'm interested to try this out more at level 60 uh, and also for reckoning like wreck bomb paladins um, this is what you would be using to stack your wrecks up and uh, that, that's nice to know that it's still in the game I was worried it, w it wasn't going to be so uh, this is me testing it out and I'll just play this footage until the next clip. Next up is some footage from a protection paladin named Caspis that used to play on the Lightbringer server. I used to see this guy in Ironforge all the time and inspect his gear and wish I was on his level. Um, while I was running dungeons the whole time this guy was raiding and it, it really inspired me to keep playing the class. So I, I just wanted to highlight uh, this clip from his video and I'm going to link the full video in the description. But this is him fighting the raptor boss in ZG and I just wanted to highlight where he uses his divine shield bubble cancel macro to, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he takes off the debuff from this raptor boss. This, this raptor that you fight, it puts a armor reducing debuff on you from what I remember and he uses the divine shield bubble cancel to take that debuff off of him and just make it easier for his healers and you can see i i recorded a couple times or, or i rewind it but uh the raptor drops aggro for just a second and then comes back to him and i just wanted to show this off in you know in action you're going to be using this divine shield bubble cancel to get rid of fears stuns uh, there's a whole bunch of situations that you can use this and just because it drops aggro doesn't mean that you can't use it as a tank It is a nice tool to use uh, uh, I just wanted to show this clip to show it off and This last clip that I'm showing is footage from original vanilla from what I believe and uh, it's a protection paladin tank in Onyxia and sorry for the quality, it's only in 360p, it's an old video, but I just wanted to highlight this one little part from the video. And Onyxia in phase 3, when she's about to come back down to the ground, she drops her threat table. It just resets, so the tank has to pick her up as soon as she hits the ground, and you're, this is the most crucial part of the fight really, because you're going to be fighting uh, on threat for he the healers and the dots that are on Onyxia when she hits the ground and that threat resets. So this paladin, uh, you see he picks her up pretty fine, except for one of his priests do die. And I just wanted to mention that he could have saved that priest if he had done a Blessing of Protection target of target macro. Uh, all he had to do was just Blessing of Protection that guy, and uh, he probably would have lived. But uh, either way, uh, he picks it up pretty quick and gets right back into position. So 
Uh, I just wanted to highlight this and show that people were doing this even back in original vanilla and uh, in the third phase where she's coming down and you need to pick her up this could also be a time where you could use the crowd pummeler strat uh, that I was talking about in my last video and that uh, Rain Iron Wolf has been testing so maybe, maybe that would be an even better way to pick her up quicker but uh, we'll, we'll see I, I just wanted to highlight that the third phase is going to be the hardest part and if they could do it back then then we can do it now and I just wanted to show that and uh, you can check out the full video on YouTube I'll leave the link in the description but these are the main clips that I wanted to point out the uh, Caspis video and the Onyxia video definitely check out uh, the full video of Caspis I I'm going to leave a link in the description and uh, I, if you ever need anything to inspire you to keep playing the class, uh, this video is really good for it. And uh, it's always done that for me. So that and Killer Dookie's videos, I'm going to leave a link for his channel also like I always do. Uh, his videos of him tanking bosses and uh, the Paladin uh, Varisk uh, also does great pal prop Paladin videos. And Rain Iron Wolf, like I mentioned earlier. So uh, all of these paladins, I'll be le uh, linking links to their channels in the description. And uh, I just wish everybody luck, and I'll see you in Classic.